Hey guys, it's Ian with Lobosting Break. Let's go through iPages' new control panel. Um, I don't really understand. I'm a big believer in train to transaction kind of marketing. Like, um, actually showing people how something works and showing it from the inside out instead of trying to sell it from the outside in. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, I think more companies should, you know, expose, uh, for example, their. What did I just do? Oh, I clicked website. Home is where I need to go. More companies should show, you know, how all this works inside uh, very openly so people can get a feel for what they're buying. And then, you know, they'll just automatically buy it if it's right for them. So, anyway, I think their new control panel is really, really uh, a lot simpler to use. The other one was like, it was like a lot of other hosting companies that I've, I've checked. And it was kind of messy and um, the links weren't in a good priority. Uh, something that I probably wouldn't touch much, uh, but they've got a marketplace of useful products for for some people. Uh, you probably are not going to need really, really need any of this stuff, because um, there's a lot of things you can get for free and install on your iPage account, and that's the purpose of all our tutorials and stuff we have on um, on web hosting break to show you you know how to save money and you know what tools to use so I just want to help you avoid this the same mistakes that I've made you know I've been online for six years so uh, I've gone through a lot of trial and error so I really love sharing and interacting with you guys anyway um, they you know make it easy to check your email and stuff uh, edit your domains uh, HT access editor I'm really glad that they allow that um, a lot of hosts don't, or they make it really hard to get to, and you'll need that. You know, if you're setting up, um, you know, custom ways of doing your uh, your URLs, like the in the address bar, like yoursite.com forward slash page name instead of PID equals one two three four five, for example. Uh, WordPress gives you some code to paste into HD Access. So after you install WordPress using their really easy one-click installer, you can just um, go into uh, setting up the uh, <laughs> the permalinks. So I have a tutorial on that. It's basically going to settings and then um, changing the permalinks to show the post name instead of some numbers. And then it gives you some some code that you paste in the HT Access Editor. But don't worry about that. I know me explaining that right here out of context sounds really complicated and stuff, but it's really not. Uh, I just have a way of making things sound more complicated than they are. Than they are. Um, and we do have a tutorial on that available on mobostingbreak.com. So, oh yeah, you can also search on our YouTube channel. And plus, there's tons of other tutorials on YouTube, not even by us, uh, on how to do that. So, just look up WordPress post links or WordPress permalinks, like permafrost, P-E-R-M-A, links, permalinks, WordPress permalinks. Got it? All right, cool. Uh, um, visitor statistics, easy to view the stats, uh, email, control over domains and uh, what domains are pointing to your your site uh, your server and uh, what domains are added so you can have more websites on one account and then e-commerce you can uh, manage your shop site uh, cart you can also upgrade to different carts but uh, I don't really think you need to there's other open source ones you can just download them and install them on your iPage account don't need to buy anything in this marketplace and then payment you know integrating payment systems so you can um, you know, you got all the tools in here to set up your whole store. Anyway, um, scripting and add-ons, that's just like uh, automated stuff. You probably won't need to mess with any of that um, since there's Install Central solves so many problems of installation. Uh, it's, it's really easy. I used it. I used Install Central and Simple Scripts to set up most of my websites because, you know, you just type the name and give a password and stuff and then it's like, hey, congratulations, you're sites set up in WordPress etc so um, then they got some marketing services like you can access your Facebook ad credit uh, Yahoo and Google and stuff like that access Google webmaster tools to check your rankings and any messages from Google uh, and then account information whatever that's all self-explanatory and then it shows your disk usage and bandwidth um, which as you can see are unlimited so that's cool but uh, one thing about that I want to kind of break the truth out. You know, it's not unlimited. If you're like a big site like Mashable.com, then you're going to use tons of bandwidth. If you're getting thousands and thousands of users a day, 
then you're going to use a lot of bandwidth, and so you're going to have to upgrade to, you know, um, you know, a full-fledged, you know, dedicated server or cloud hosting account, um, which is going to be very expensive for a big site like that. So you don't want to start out with something like that. IPage uh, and other hosts that have good reliability and you know basic essentials plans uh, for a cheap price, those are the best kind of hosts to start out with because you want to spend the least amount of money and um, you know have a reliable platform to work on that's flexible. Uh, for whatever kind of website you're putting up. So anyway, that's kind of just uh, my overview of their control panel. There's not really, you know, much to go into in terms of details. Everything's pretty self-explanatory and easy to use. And um, l please let me know if you have any questions, anything else you want me to cover. Uh, as I said, I love interacting with you guys and uh, answering questions and making these videos and running this site. So um, yeah. Have fun with your website. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.